What's up YouTube? I just want to make a disclaimer before this video begin. I'm a huge Erezio fan. I have watched the anime over and over and over again. I have recommended the Erezio anime for so many people. I told everybody that Erezio season 1 was one of the greatest anime ever made. I have bought the video game for the PC, for the PlayStation, for the Nintendo Switch. I have rewatched the anime 10 times, 20 times, I'm not sure, but I have rewatched the anime so many times. I have spent so much money on ReZero. I have spent so much time on ReZero. I love ReZero. I don't hate ReZero. I love Subaru. This video was very hard on me to make. As a fan, as a reader, I feel disappointed. I want to put my opinion out there. I want to talk about it. I want to make this video about this topic, all right? What's going on YouTube? I just got done reading ReZero Arc 7, The Land of the Wolf. I just want to give you a fair warning here. I'm going to spoiler Arc 7 for you if you are going to keep watching this video. But at the same time, I really don't want you to waste your time on this arc. ReZero has been very special to me. I can relate to Subaru a lot. It hurts a lot when I say that ReZero Arc 7 is really bad. Now, let me explain. Do you see this character here? This character called Satila. Satila is the Witch of Envy. Now, the Witch of Envy is the most powerful for witch of all time. She's still alive till this day. Satila has summoned Superu to this fantasy world. And at the same time, Satila have gave Superu the return his ability. Satila is a very important character. She plays a huge role in the lore, on the story. She is just one big mystery. She is super broken. She is super OP. She needed three of the most powerful people in the entire ReZero universe just to seal her. She is broken. She's OP. What happened to Satila in Arc 7? She is an Uber. Yes? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Satila is an Uber. Her entire job is to teleport Subaru from point A to point B. That's it. She can't control her ability anymore. I'm a huge fan of Satila and kind of upset that she is an Uber now. Emilia. Emilia. I like Emilia a lot. I like Emilia more than Rem. And at the same time, we didn't see Emilia in Arc 7. You know what? You can consider that a spoiler. I don't care. 100 chapters, an entire arc. Emilia and Superu have not been together. What? What is that? Why? It's so frustrating. I don't have a problem with her. I just wish that they give her more screen time. That's just about it. Here, man, the meat and potato of the reason why I disliked R7. Because of the power scaling on ReZero Arc 7 is really bad. This guy is the greed. This guy is a broken OP. When I say broken, he's broken. This guy alone was able to destroy an entire city on his own. Imagine that. This guy is capable of destroying an entire city. My problem is, when he faced Subaru in Arc 5, Subaru didn't even struggle against this guy. Let's just be honest here. Subaru was always on the upper hand on the fight. The greed. Archbishop Super did not struggle again. We have this guy he is the Thin Archbishop of Gluttony. The Super crew did not really have a hard time against him. The only real victim is Rem Memories. Other than that, this guy is harmless pretty much. And they defeat him with ease. And this guy is very dangerous and very broken. We got this guy right here, Betelogisu. Now this guy is the Archbishop of Sloth. Let me remind you of what this guy did in the anime. This guy was able to defeat the entire village, Rem and Ram and Emilia. Alright, Buck 
have destroyed the entire universe because of him. How crazy is that? That guy was one of the most biggest obstacle that Super have faced. This guy have almost resulted on the destruction of the entire universe, pretty much. Because of Puck, of course. This guy can switch bodies. Beto Giste has defeated Superu three times, maybe two times, three times, four times. This guy around the same number, the greed one, maybe once, twice, I'm not sure. But this guy, this guy, this guy is Todd. Todd, Todd is a soldier. Wow, dude, man, Todd is a soldier. Okay, Todd is a friend with Jamal. Okay, all right, we have accomplished that. A soldier, a normal human, no special ability, there is no regenerate powers, there is nothing. Okay, just a normal human being who just works on the army. No special abilities, no army. This guy was pretty much 90% of the screen time was against it was Todd. Every single time Super who got defeated by somebody, it was Todd. Every single time the anti-protagonist have showed it was Todd. I really dislike Todd. This guy is the main reason why I'm dropping ReZero. The power scaling is a joke on this light novel. I am sorry. I am sorry. I wasted my time reading this. I had my fun on arc 6, arc 5, arc 4, arc 3, arc 2. They were they were fun, but arc 7 no. And this guy was one of the main reason why the most powerful people on the story are the archbishops. They are capable of some destruction power. And I'm talking about the 1% of the 1%. We are supposed to pay attention to them. But my problem is, I don't really see them as dangerous, really. I mean, like this guy, this guy was no problem. This guy, this guy was no problem. This guy was no problem. Superu got it all figured out. Superu is amazing again against these people. But against Todd? No. Super IQ is minus, it's minus 200. I'm just tired of Arc 7. I'm just tired of this entire story. I don't care anymore. If this guy was capable of defeating Super more than 40, 50 times, then I just, I don't feel anything. When everybody is special, nobody is. It could be once, it could be twice. This guy, I'm talking about 30, 40, 50. Todd is the number two person who have defeated Super or the number one. I'm not sure. I am going to skip arc 8 completely. Why? I will let you why. Because Todd is still alive. 100%. Todd is alive and Todd will keep defeating Super over and over and over again. And that is just not fun for me, honestly speaking. And hopefully speaking, everything will go back to normal within Arc 9. They will leave this continent and go back to the mansion. I want to see Super Rem, Ram, Emilia interacting with each other again i want to see more dialogue i am tired of this of this combat which i am not the biggest fan of that was my rant i am really passionate about ReZero. the ReZero anime is probably one of my favorite animes of all time and it, it absolutely breaks my heart that i'm making this video it it's absolutely heartbreaking that that arc 7 is trash one thing i did not like about arc 7 is superu himself superu and this arc was not superu that i know in the first 40 chapters superu is a girl now nice and that is weird in my opinion the rest of the arc 7 superu Returning to his kid self means bye-bye character development. I want my old Super back. I don't want female Super and I definitely do not want the little kid super yeah man thank you so much for watching this video let me know what do you think down in the comment section do you feel the same way as i do or not agree disagree let me know down in the comment section Keep it respectfully in the comment section. I will see you 
on the next YouTube video. Bye.